then you can count on it with everything you got. Obama's planning to stay. And he's going to do what he's got to do to be able to stay there. Now, the question is, do you want Obama to be comes? You've got Hillary. She's waiting for her day. And if she can just get in this election, then she will make it collapse. Now, Alex, it's a question of whether we, the people, want to be an Islamic caliphate under Obama and lead him to global power as the leader of Islam worldwide, or do we want to become a communist country under Hillary, with Hillary appointing Bill Clinton, which I know she's going to do with that. I, six I might months. choose the Muslim <laughs> thing other than being a commie. <laughs> Huh? I might choose the Muslim deal over being a communist. I, well, I'm telling you, Muslims cut your head off. Commies just put you in prison. I, you know, it's a six one or another. But I will say this: within six months, Hillary will appoint Bill Ambassador to the UN, and then because of what they've been doing in the UN with the Clinton Foundation, within six months of that, they plan on him being the Secretary General of the United Nations, or other words, the leader of the UN. Can you imagine they will have achieved what they told me about in 1986? They want to be the most powerful couple ever in the history of the world. I skipped the network break. This is so cliffhanger and so key. Go back to those talks because Clinton has now said, it was like a decade after you said it on my show, that he wants to be the leader of the U.N. with Hillary down the road being co-president. And then they bring in the world government. And then Obama, I didn't used to buy into this, but really he is trying to set up a caliphate. He is funding right. the radical Islamicists. There is a takeover. He is doing it through Kenya. I mean, it's such double dealing. I guess they really are like on their own teams trying to get global domination. Talk about that more. Well, you know, that's the problem, Alex. We've got the best government money can buy. The problem is the people in America don't have money to buy it. But you now have two distinct people trying to get control of this nation. And it's all going to hinge on a thing called the FEMA Provisional Government Plan. Whoever is president when a crisis is declared nationally, when that day comes, whoever's president becomes king. Now, the way that works, so people will know, whoever's president takes total power. There is no vice president. Number two is the commander of the Joint Chief Staff. All congressmen senators go back to their home states and they become the government there now what that does is the president when that happens becomes king and the only person that can call the crisis over is the president and as you know nobody's going to do that in 1986 the clintons found out about this and Bill and Hillary both came to me and said we want to be there that day get us there well we joked alice can you imagine back in 1986 bill clinton and us all of the guys that were on the kitchen cabinet and him saying he wanted to be president and we're going oh yeah sure of course well we devised a plan to make him president but we figured the womanizing and all that stuff would get him so it was a joke but we started looking at reality if we ever got him there if he couldn't crash in FEMA when he was president, then you had four out years, which were the years when his term ended, and then Hillary would run. Well, you know what happened? She got beat by Obama because she didn't follow our playbook. She's following it now. That's why I can tell you every second what Hillary's doing. I can tell you, don't worry about all of this email stuff, except all of this sudden, in comes Alec, the FBI. Now, remember, Obama just appoints a new head of the Justice Department, a new director, you know, the attorney general. And all of a sudden, this attorney general sits the FBI on these FBI files. Now, Alex, let's tell the truth about that, buddy. Number one, if they prosecute Hillary over the FBI or over the emails, it'll never happen. Because, you see, if they prosecute her over that, Alex, then she's going to say, well, then I've got to use these classified emails as my defense. Well, when she says that, then the federal judge is going to say, well, you can't use that stuff as your defense. And then therefore he's going to throw the case out. He has to throw the case out. The Clintons know this, but there's one thing laying right there. Obama's got Biden getting in that race. They're going to kick Hillary down and kick her down. And if they can get Biden in, Alex, 
It's over. It's over. It'll never happen. There won't be an election. Obama's going to have a riot. I think you see the intensity now over this Black Lives Matter. That's what I wanted I to raise. Working at the highest levels of this, even as the New York Times admitted you were one of Clinton's top people uh, in there in the original planning. Obviously, I can see the angles of it, destabilization, all the problems. But the boldness of having Democratic Party operatives running, admittedly, all these kill the cop groups, they think they can get away with that. I guess they will. They will get away with it. So what's the point of it? Well, the point is, this is a between the Clintons and the Obama. I don't say Obamas, I mean Obama. And where do we sit? Where do we, the people, sit in the middle of this? Well, we have got to stand up, Alex, and your program is part of it. We've got to stand up and declare we're not going to take it. And we can through states' rights, but we got to get to moving on it or it's over. But just sit back, folks, and know, I'm. hey, I'm not here telling you about Obama. Look for yourself. Do you really believe that all of these, ca- these Black Lives Matter things are really occurring just out of the blue? Do you not think it odd that Obama has not sent his Justice Department to shut this stuff down? Hey, Alex, you get out there and tell your audience, hey, let's go kill a cop. See how long you can move around. I'm going to be arrested See, in about two hours. To your jail. Yeah. So you know that's out there. Well, then you got to ask why, folks. I'm not trying to get you to buy into a pig in the poke. I'm asking you, ask yourself why. Why is it when Obama was elected, we were told, oh, thank God, race is finally over. And he's done everything in his power and then some to make race a hotter issue now than the day the man came in. And if you don't believe he is working hard to get these riots activated, and when the riots, the riots get activated, Alex, here's the part people don't understand. When these black mobs start running wild and shooting wildly into the neighborhood, you know what people are doing in this country? They'll call up and say, please send the government and stop it, protect us. We will call for the federal government to come in and protect us. We will call for the civil emergency. We will. We'll be the ones asking for it because, you know what, we'll be scared. We'll be scared. Now, I'll tell you something else you might as well know, and y'all going to think I'm crazy, but get ready to grease the banana truck because I'm fixing to tell you. There's a reason Cuba, we normalize relations with Cuba. Alex, you know, you've talked to enough military people yourself, and you know Obama has gone through and selectively purged the military for anybody that would dare to not take his orders under a crisis condition in this country. They're gearing up. They're getting everything lined up. up. Well, watch this, folks. You see, Obama and his people, and I'm sure the generals have told them, when it comes to telling American soldiers to crack down on the people of America, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. It'll end pretty quick. So what has Obama done? He's gone to the one military force that I personally ran into in Nicaragua. He's got the Cuban military that will be brought in here under the auspices of augmenting our military to help keep us in line. You know, I'd laugh at that, except I remember it was in the Washington Post after I saw it in restricted documents that were leaked about 14 years ago, right after 9-11, where they were saying in the Washington Post, we'll have Canadian and Mexican and other Latin American troops in America during a civil emergency. It predates Obama and the Clintons. And then it expanded uh, to where they're now openly pushing this idea again. And so we know they have a plan for a multinational force once there's a civil war. uh, But that does make a lot of sense. And the Pope's coming here to call for socialism and world government. I mean, everything's really moving fast now. Everything is moving according to an area of time and has it as you get closer to an event, time compresses. And that's where we're at. But now remember, why Cuba? Why did we have to normalize relations with Cuba? Because that's the only place that has a standing army within two hours can put 200,000 troops on our ground. Europe can't do it. Russia can't do it. And by the way, ain't doing real good getting along. Well, that's what they do in Red Dawn is they dress Cubans up like Mexicans, fly them in on jumbo jets with the noses popping off. And and, and used to, I'd say this is crazy, even though I knew the Soviets had a plan to do this. 
But the thing is, they're so crazy. Obama's now renaming mountains like a dictator. I mean, well, they're just getting us ready. That was one of the things that we did under Clinton. Clinton would say, well, how am I going to hide this? I'll say, put it right under their nose. That's where nobody will find it. Put it right there. Nobody will believe it. When we say things, Alex, think about the things you have said. Think about the things I've said with you over the years. Remember when they were said that was crazy? That was even crazy. That was so far. Well, I know they're thinking about martial law. That's admitted. And I know the White House is trying to start a race war. I mean, who knows what's going to happen next? America. The United States has had it good so long. We've had our share of problems that we think we're immune and say it can't happen here. It is happening here. Europe has hundreds of thousands of people a month pouring into it. They're declaring civil emergencies in the Czech Republic, stopping all westbound trains. They're being called racist by Germany and England, saying let everyone in. France foreign minister says just take unlimited, pay for it, put people in your house. This is their political takeover. I'm not against the immigrants. They're just being used as the weapon. So the globalists are turning ISIS and Al-Qaeda loose to run around and murder everybody. And then they're on the news this weekend, the White House, like, and others, yeah, we've got to start doing something about ISIS. They're with Iran. We're going to bomb Assad. Knowing the public doesn't understand that Iran and Obama are fighting ISIS. And I'm not saying Iran's good, but they're lying to you. I have the articles right here. In just four years, half of Syrian population of 22 million has been killed, displaced, or fled the country. Four million refugees. And then it ties into this article. Russia to begin airstrikes against ISIS in Syria. Russian presence is there. They've sent hundreds of Russian pilots and aircraft to a forward operating base outside Damascus and are going to start now attacking ISIS. So we heard Russia was fleeing and leaving. That was all disinformation. And we're in the position of Russia fighting the most vicious Islamic extremist ever that our government's allied with, and they go on the news and act like Obama's fighting it. What I'm saying is, I studied Iran-Contra. I studied other corrupt events. Nothing was ever one-tenth of this. This is so gopher-broke, so... It's just huge. It, it, it's so flagrant. It's so reckless. It's so naked. It's so wild. Just like all these, it's admittedly George Soros White House run with people chanting approved stuff to kill cops. I mean, the White House knows it's going to cause innocent cops to be shot. <laughs> I mean, I know they're villainous, but who wants to just randomly kill cops or anybody for that matter? Because... They want to bring this country down, folks. They call us better clingers. It's on. And they want to get the police maneuvered into a position to try to come after our guns, which they're now calling for on MSNBC. You know, it is time to confiscate them. They say we don't want their guns. We played the clip yesterday. We do want them. Time to take them. I want all those reporters and all the social engineers to know something, all the bankers. You think you're going to be immune from all this and the citizens and the cops we're all just going to kill each other because we're a bunch of idiots. You are the ones that are going to be held accountable. I'm going to talk to Larry Nichols about that and talk to Peter. And then talk to Doug and then Joshua and then Mike and then Michael. And I'm going to go to all of you to so stay there. Larry Nichols is here with us. We went up and interviewed him for a couple days up there in Arkansas. It's very powerful, in-depth. That's going to be airing in the next two weeks. I don't know if I'll air it during the 27-hour broadcast because that is a big audience, but almost not as big as if I just showcase it before then and uh, put it on the nightly news or something. But it's going to be airing the next week or two. Uh, before I go any further, we brought game-changing, over-the-top, important nutraceuticals to the table at extremely affordable prices that also help fund this operation. And we do deserve your support. We've gotten your support. But folks know we're on a serious mission to quote, quote the Blues Brothers, we're not backing off. We're taking action. And we also bring great products to the table. And I want to thank you all for your support, uh, for your patronage, whether it's OxyPower to flush out your guts or Prostagard for your prostate, uh, or whether it's Silver Bullet, Colloidal Silver. It's all super high quality. But the, one of the biggest game changers is true, organic, high quality, Deep earth iodine that so many people have a deficiency in 
It's not just your thyroid, it's other glands. Your whole body basically operates